Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. And we have a collab for you today. It's actually really interesting. I've been seeing ads for brandless uh, all over the internet, which we'll talk about in just a sec, but we're basically doing a collab where a couple of us have gotten an order from brandless and we're also going to talk about items that you can get in other stores that might be comparable and review those kind of together in a way. I'm doing Target, I have someone else who's doing Walmart, and then someone else who's doing Aldi. So I will link everyone's links down below so you can see all the comparisons that we're bringing. We all got different things, we didn't all get the same thing, so that also will give you kind of an interesting um, perspective on it. It's, it's really like... I got things that I knew we would use, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Um, so a little bit about Brandless. There, it's obviously not a brand name, anything. Everything pretty much costs like $3. And what we were wondering is, like, is it a smaller package? You know, what is it now, see, that you're getting? The way that they've advertised is that they basically said, we aren't carrying any brand name items here, and that's how you're saving money because all of it is our generic, mm -hmm. which allows them to do some things that are pretty cool from what I've seen. And yeah. uh, we're going to get into some of that. That's we kind are. Of fun. Yeah. So uh, the, the really cool thing about Brandless is they try to be very conscious about what they're putting in their products. Mm -hmm doing with their packaging. Um, a lot of things are GMO, non-GMO, they're organic, they're vegan, they're cruelty-free. Environmentally they're, friendly. You know, like they don't have a lot of the toxins in it. And the other thing that we thought was interesting is that it is FSC certified, which I had never heard of, but I guess it's like Ford, Forest Stewardship certified um, yeah. because it's it's from like a basic, 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 not talking today. The basically is a a being more sustainable in your mm -hmm. paper forest usage. Yes, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know what that was. Making sure that you know we're not going and deforesting a huge area just to make some paper when you can, you know, use the materials properly Recycle. and make sure that you're always uh, replanting afterwards mm -hmm. and not harvesting at certain times. Mm. Yeah, and we were noticing a lot of their paper products are recycled or compostable or reusable or something like that. So all of it is really thoughtful in what they're doing with their product, which I thought was interesting. Um, I do have a code down below if you are interested in getting money off. Uh, you can use my code or if you want a better, better deal, you can get one on their site either way. But you know, just for ease of use, there's a link down below for you. I spent probably about $50, but I had I had a code to get money off. So the amount of product that I got is about $50 worth of stuff. So I'm gonna have Marshall go ahead and grab the first thing and then I have my little list here to compare. Go ahead. We have herbal fruit tea and herbal sampler. So now you kind of get an idea. This is how they, they do their branding. And really the closest you get to having a brand name on there is right down there at the bottom where it has a little check mark for brandless. That's it. Uh, let me take a look at this. So it's organic, no artificial colors or, f or flavors. And inside you get peppermint tea, chamomile tea, blueberry flavored green tea, and pomegranate flavored white tea. Five tea bags of each flavor, which means you're basically getting 20 tea bags in this box. It's non-GMO, gluten-free, and brand tax-free apparently. Um, so this, it says it's 0.97 ounces and organic in this. So the tea that I found, so this is $3 for 20. Uh, the tea, 20, is that right? Yeah, 20. The tea that I found at Target, which would be a comparable uh, brand name sampler, was $3.99 for 16 tea bags. Okay. This is 20. So you are, this is a definitely a better value. Um, I can't speak to that tea brand and what they use in their stuff because I really don't know because it's a very major tea brand. I can't re remember if I was choosing Lipton or uh, Twinings. I can't remember which one. I just kind of picked a variety. So this is definitely a better value when it comes and to And I'm this. interested in trying that blueberry green tea. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. It does sound good. And I love peppermint tea. It's the best for getting yourself mm -hmm. cleared out. Yeah. Next product. 
Beef jerky. We have both in uh, peppered and teriyaki. All right, let me look at this one while you look at that one. So this is organic and made from 100% grass fred. I should just let Marshall talk right now. Yes, <laughs> we're all very concerned about how they're fred. <laughs> um, so yeah, so they're, they're supposed to be organic, 100% grass fed beef. And this one, yeah, they're hickory smoked mm -hmm. as well. And so this one has uh, two grams fat, 10 total carbohydrates. How's your carbohydrate? Same thing. Man? Same thing? 10 carbs. So they don't really have that much in sugar going on. No added hormones, no added antibiotics. Which is a really big thing for beef. Mm hmm. Um, this is 1.7 ounces. And the one that I got, which would be the like market pantry brand at Target, was. So this is three, $3 for 1.7 ounces. Theirs was 3.5. 3.5. 359 for 2.85 ounces. So a little about the size of these two packages put together for 359 whereas I got one package for three dollars. So this is not a good value if you think of it in terms of what you're getting price and capacity. The Target brand yeah. I do not believe is organic or made from grass-fed beef. So if you are thinking in that capacity, three dollars for a little thing of beef jerky is actually pretty good. Because jerky is expensive. Jerky is really expensive and getting good jerky, like natural jerky, yeah. that's kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. um, looking through, I mean, there is almost nothing synthetic going on in here mm -hmm. um other than the beef it's salt organic natural flavors natural flavors and yeast extract oh citric yeah. acid so it's all very natural i've got a big object here oh hi there mm -hmm. okay so this is a toilet bowl cleaner right there and non-gmo no parabens no animal testing septic safe and uh no phthalates Non-toxic, EPA Safer Choice certified. How much is in it? 24 ounces. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is 24 ounces of product. I found the Up and Up brand at Target, which was $3.29 for two, and each one was 12 ounces. So basically that was the same amount as this for more money, about 30 cents more. So this is not only cheaper, but it might also have better ingredients in it. That is definitely worth it. It is definitely a, a chemical cleaner, but honestly, given the the cruelty-free, safer choice, no phthalates, uh, it's mm. they are certifying, and it said that they banned like 400 ingredients yeah. from, from their stuff that would normally have chemicals in it. So I'd say that this is probably gonna be some of the best cleaner for you that you got. I got the Summer Breeze scent. I was trying to see if I could smell it. But I can't, which is fine. We're not going to take the top off because it's a toilet cleaner and I don't want to go there. And I already cleaned my <laughs> toilet today. Mm. Okay, so we've got some stuff for cleaning you now. Moisturizing shampoo, shave gel, and moisturizing conditioner. I'll take those out because I kind of want to smell them. You take a I did get the uh, green tea and aloe scent for all of these. Um, they're made with aloe leaf juice. They're sulfate-free, phthalate-free, no animal testing. So they're cruelty-free as well. And these are paraben-free. Yes. Um, so each of these, of course, is $3 for 8 ounces. Um, I did, I tried to find like an Herbal Essences Garnier, I think, had something that was almost similar to this. $3.49 for 12.5 fluid ounces. So you got a little bit more there. And then this is a little bit less money and less product. I think it's about comparable, but they don't have this specific smell. Gotta it's, taste a little safety. It's feel. refreshing. I like that smell. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it wakes you up. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to, to find out what this is gonna be like because you know, it, it works, it reacts differently with different hair. But I do think the shave gel is a pretty big bottle. For shave gel? Yeah, that's a pretty big bottle. There. So for the shave gel, again, this is eight ounces. And I think I found, I want to say like EOS shave gel. Yes. So EOS shave gel was $3.79 for seven ounces. This is definitely a better deal for a better shave gel. 
because this is only three dollars and you get eight ounces so definitely a better deal for that nice oh yay mm -hmm. medium roast coffee so organic and this is fair trade certified so you know that it's not in any conflict areas or anything mm. bad. Now it is a smaller bag. This is six ounces. I think the bags we get at Target are a little bigger than that. Um, but they are also anywhere from $4.99 up and this is only $3. And this is pretty much enough to make one giant, we make huge pots of, big. of cold brew coffee. This is enough to make one. Yeah, which is all we need really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ones that we get from Target is enough to make two. And it's about the same. It's about twice the price of this. The only thing that I think, ooh, it smells good. The only thing I think that I could have wanted more in this is the fact that we tend to like, like caramel creme brulee coffee, and this is just regular coffee. And they don't really have any flavored coffees there yet, so that's the only thing I think could have been. But still, different. I want to try this out and see how well it goes. Definitely. Okay. By the way, the color of their packaging also uh, kind of is coordinated to what's actually in the packaging. So for example, my green tea and aloe was green, the coffee was brown, so it's really like easy to eyeball it and be like, oh yeah. And you can tell happen. the difference between the peppered beef jerky and the teriyaki beef jerky by color. So I true. Know. Just gonna help you out here. We got some more beauty stuff. You know, since we test beauty stuff anyway, what you got there? We have body wash that is gentle cleansing, sulfate free, phthalate free, no animal testing, cruelty free. Uh, vegan, gluten-free, silicone-free. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. What's the scent on that? This one is scented as green tea and aloe. Okay, so I got that one the same as the yep, shape gel and the shampoo. This is green apple facial toner and grapefruit facial scrub, both of which I am excited to use. So let's start with the body wash. Um, so the body wash I found uh, you said it was 10 ounces. Mm -hmm. I found one comparable, uh, a just no, not really scented anything like that. Um, 279 for 24 ounces. That's definitely cheaper, but I cannot attest for the ingredients in that. It is probably not good ingredients like this, and it probably does not smell as well. It was just your basic up and up scent, you know? Yeah. Um, facial toner. The one I found was $2.59 for 8 ounces, and this is $3 for 5.5 ounces. Let's see how it smells. Sniff it. Ooh, it's actually really good. And again, you're paying, the bump you're paying is for the better ingredients in it, but it's still not that much more. I'm willing to bet that if you found something that was this much good for you put into it, you're probably going to be paying more than $3 elsewhere. Oh, this is great. Ooh, this is so good. I bet my husband's gonna steal that. I can't smell it. You can't smell it? No. Oh, there I go. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> um, spatial scrub. I found $1.99 for six ounces. This is five ounces for three. So yeah, that, I guess that's a disclaimer I need to put on all of it. Is it worth it for the the good ingredients, like the, the non-toxic ingredients for a dollar more? I think so. Yeah. I say I, yes. I mean, I think other places you'd probably be paying like two, three dollars mm -hmm. extra for that same kind of service. Oh, oh, much less stinkies, <laughs> much less stinkies with deodorant. <laughs> Dilate three, silicone free, gluten free. Let's take a look. Is it... It is also aluminum free. That's why I got it. Very and good. one of the things I have been thinking about is because he and I both react really badly to deodorant. We cannot use aluminum deodorant at all. And there are some deodorants that we have a weird chemical reaction with. So we have to use the crystal and the spray. So one of the videos we're trying to come up with is to test all these aluminum free deodorants and see which ones are okay for us. Mm -hmm. So if they're okay for us with the weird skin problems, they're probably okay for most people. So this is one of them. What's the scent on that? This one is scented as citrus neroli. I don't really know what that smells like. So I, <laughs> I was the one that sounded the best to me. Like I don't really like baby powder scents or lavender scents. I can't do those. So me uh, this, well, while he's doing that. So we usually buy, like my husband gets, um, we make our own deodorant, like I said, but he also likes Tom's. 
and I looked up how much it was for Tom's. It is $4.79 for 2.25 ounces. This is 1.7 for three. It smells pretty good. Actually, yeah, I thought it was going to smell too musky, but the citrus actually comes out a lot more. Yeah. I would wear this. I'm going to test with this, actually. Um, so I think this is definitely a better value than Tom's. You do get a little bit less, but you're also paying about $2 less, so awesome. That's pretty good. And if we like it, we'll get more. <laughs> We just got to make sure that it's like right for our biochemistry. Yeah. Strong enough for a man, pH balanced for Cthulhu. Sure. Mm. Stuff. I like how they wrap it in this, the like raffia paper packaging instead of bubble wrap. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. We should do that for our business. Let's save that. Ooh. I got the gluten-free teriyaki sauce. Uh, this is non-GMO, vegan, and no artificial colors, and flavors only two grams of carbs per serving. This is or, uh, apple cider vinegar that is organic, raw, unfiltered, with the mother. Let's find out what they mean by the mother. They aren't going to tell me what the mother is. Mother. <laughs> um, so teriyaki sauce comparison, you get... 10 ounces for $1.22. Oh. And I have actually looked and the teriyaki sauce that we would have gotten is not gluten free. So this is 11.5. This is more ounces for $3. It's about almost, it's almost $2 more expensive, but good stuff. Zero carbohydrates. Well, it usually doesn't for after cider vinegar. Yeah. So the and the one that we would get at Target, which is the Up and Up brand, would be one nineteen for sixteen ounces. That's not as big. That oh, that's sixteen ounces. So this is three dollars for sixteen ounces. I can't really compare because I don't. I would probably have to try this. Um, we use it for a lot of like our body care products that we make ourselves, and then other things to cook with. Yeah, but cool. it looks a lot like. It looks like there's actual stuff in here. I think that's what they mean by the mother. The mother. It must be, yeah, I don't know. It might be part of the, like, the fermentation process. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty cool. I think yes. we've got... Two more things. Try three. Yeah, more than two more things. Got some toothpaste. Okay, toothpaste. Now, again, with the toothpaste, we try to do fluoride-free. This is fluoride-free whitening alcohol free sls free cruelty free helps fight plaque and it smells like peppermint and this is extra virgin olive oil spray 100 percent evoo so there is no actual like propellants that are in there yeah which is always the chemical portion you really don't want in, in your spray i was just really intrigued by this because i could not find an actual alternative to this at target at all i don't mm. think Non-GMO derived food, fat-free cooking. Oh wait, I lied. Um, I did find one. It was four forty-nine for seven ounces. This is six ounces for three. Definitely a better value for that. Yeah. So toothpaste. Um, it also, Tom's is what we use. So it's three fifty-two for four point two ounces. This is three dollars for four ounces. Definitely a better value for this as well. Veggie broth. Okay, I really expected those to be bigger. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so the veggie broth, you get three of these for three dollars. So this is technically a dollar each. One of the big vegetable broths that you get at Target is a dollar ninety nine for one. So it's like two bucks for a big one. And that was four cups. Okay. There's about four cups of broth in those. Right. This is one cup in each one of these. So that's only three. So it's definitely less. Um, it's not quite as good of a I value. I don't know if it's as good of a value, but I don't know what's in that. What's in that? Well, it's organic, non-GMO, no artificial flavors, no There's preservatives, gluten-free. Which means it's probably better for you <laughs> than Organic the vegetable broth, cooked organic vegetables. Literally every single ingredient in here is prefaced with organic. So enjoy that. I think it said organic water. What's going on there? So, okay. Uh, I think that overall, it really depends on what you're shopping for. If you really want to be that, you know, healthy lifestyle, very organic, what's going in your body, non-toxic type thing, I think this is totally worth it for the price. Um, if you don't care, 
then and you're just trying to like save money this might not be where you want to go for this at least yeah at least. there are some items here that are definitely worth the price so mm. it looks like what you'd want to do is just do some price comparisons especially considering this gets shipped straight to your door which makes shopping just a hair's breadth easier it does so thank you so much for watching make sure you check out everyone down below who participated in this collab and see how they compared their stuff as well but until next time stay zany bye bye